Hey guys, on the 7th of August 2023, Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, Senior Pastor of Fountain of Life Church, died in America. And over the weekend, his funeral service held in Lagos it started on the on Thursday with a service of songs, and on Friday was the funeral. On Sunday, they had a Thanksgiving service in church. And here you can see his body being, you know, taken into his church. His son, Jimmy Odukoya, the popular actor, you can see him in front, his two girls and his two last sons behind his two daughters and then his relatives behind them. Here we have the two children of the late Pastor Taiwo Odukoya. We have Tolu, Pastor Tolu and Pastor Jimmy Odukoya who are both pastors in the church. And here we have their brother-in-law. Take the stage, Lord. So with service done and dusted, the body was led out of the church. We have uh, Pastor Okonkwo of Trem, who are uh, his God, the late pastor's spiritual godparents. Yes, the late Pastor Bimbo and Pastor Taiwo started in Trem Church and Fountain of Life Church was founded in the year 1992. And nothing more. Here we have Pastor Taiwo's two younger sons, which he had with his late South African wife, Pastor Nomti Odukoya. When you're done, please. Guys, to be very honest, everything about this funeral brought so much tears to my eyes. Like, as much as I know that we are not supposed to question God, I feel like Pastor Taiwo was such an amazing man and I also feel like life wasn't fair to him. Yes, his church was founded in 92 and um, his first wife, Pastor Bimbo Dukoya, died in um, the, is it Dana crash? No, so Soliso crash in December 2010, sorry, in December 2005. And five years later, Pastor Taiwo remarried in 2010 to Pastor Nomti Odukoya, who was a South African whom he met when he traveled to South Africa for administration. Although he was much older than her, but at least it brought, they were so compatible. They were very close. They had an amazing relationship. And sadly, that marriage lasted seven years and uh, because shortly she fell ill she had cancer and she died in 2021 guys sorry the marriage lasted more than seven years please she died in 2021 she had two kids her death really broke me because i mean sometimes i wonder like as a pastor I don't know and pastor taiwo handled it so well even through the duration of her sickness he didn't really want to tell the church members that much like he didn't make it public of course some of the pastors the senior pastors knew about her predicament he took her to various hospitals to different parts of the world to ensure she got the best treatment but unfortunately she passed after in fact at a point after they went to various countries and the doctors there told him that there was nothing else they could do so he brought her back to nigeria and they set up like an intensive care unit in their house guys i don't even like remembering this story they set up an intensive care unit in their house to ensure she was getting treated because if you have been around cancer patients you would know that they suffer so much pains and so he wanted he didn't want her to be in so much pains and then every day he would pray for her and ask god for divine intervention to keep her but at the point it's like you know like when you pray i don't know how to analyze this thing but it's only people who are spiritual that will get it like when you keep telling god god preserve this thing for me the lady was going through pains and according to his daughter one day she called the lady that's pastor nomti called his daughter pastor tolu and was like please i want to go tell your father to let me go it looks like that prayer he was saying was kind of stalling her life it was making god preserve her but she wasn't happy and then the, uh, pastor taiwo said one day he decided not to he said usually once he wakes up in the morning he goes to her he goes downstairs where the intensive care unit is and then before her children go to school they come and say hello to her so he said that day for strange reasons he was just he didn't go and then his children before his children left to school as tradition as they would always do they went and gave their mom a hug 
and then later in the day she passed that was the day she died like personality's death was so touching because to be very honest i was such a huge fan of his first wife so after he remarried i was kind of upset so i wasn't really following up with them but i knew when he you know i knew he was remarried and i love that the church accepted her fully she was south african she adapted you know became like she had that Niger vibe as much as she wasn't speaking Yoruba so fluently but she was amazing she was so comfortable in the country and even during her funeral her you know her people came and we are like Pastor Taiwo did so well he tried so well they are so proud of the effort he put she had two amazing kids so here we have Jimmy and Tolu this picture they actually wore white during the service of songs while on the burial proper they wore green then the outer service they wore blue So here we have Jimmy. How many of you remember this guy from Nollywood? Yes, he is an actor. And we have Pastor Kingsley Okonkwo and his wife. We have the former second lady of Nigeria, Mrs. Osibajo. Here we have Pastor Itoha Igodalo. Yes, of Trinity Church. And we have Pastor Adeyemi of, I don't know the name of his church. And we have Pastor Paul Adefarati of House on the Rock. here we have um the two songs pastor Nomti had with pastor tai wodukoya during the service of songs talking about their late father you know sometimes i get pretty worried for the children like these younger ones and how they are coping like they lost their mom in 2021 and in 2023 they lost their dad like they are orphans well, I trust that Pastor Tolu, Pastor Toby, and Pastor Jimmy Dukoya will take good care of them. They seem to me like grounded people. I love the Dukoya so much. Like, I hardly concern myself with Pentecostal issues, but I have a special love for this family. I follow through as a Catholic. I'm not so invested in the Pentecostal in Pentecostal churches, but with them, I have always followed them because I loved their mother and what she stood for. So it kind of made me pick interest. I remember the first day I saw Jimmy on Rock TV, I was like, Ah, who is this guy? Ah, this guy looks like Pastor Bimbo. Then I now decided to check his name after the move. I now saw Jimmy Oduko. I say, Ah, it could be Pastor Bimbo's son. Then I now googled the ah, I was so shocked. I started following him on social media. That's how I found his siblings too i love the bond he shares with his siblings i love how you know family oriented they are they are really cool-headed people to be very honest so i am 100 percent sure they are going to take good care of their step brothers and i hope those boys grow up you know just as grounded as their older siblings so guys let me let you listen to you know the ministrations what the siblings had to say what the children had to say at the service of songs that would be the last you know, I don't think I want to talk again. So from Society Hotspot, we wish the Odukoyas God's grace, comfort, and we pray for the repose of Pastor 
Pastor Taiwo soul and we hope he's happy in heaven because he lived a pretty good life. Like one man of God, one Pentecostal pastor in Nigeria that has never had a scandal. Like he's not into politics. He just, oh, no, 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 this is, he was a man after God's heart. And I pray he finds rest and I pray that God grants his children the wisdom to carry on with the good work he started. And I am very sure that Fountain of Life Church will grow from strength to strength, that the death of Pastor Taiwo will not mean the death of the church. So guys, share your thoughts in the comments section. Because of that final message, 